In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this beautiful, dewy, gorgeous, youthful look. This is a requested video, so thank you, Joey, for requesting this. I'm excited because I'm going to be sharing some important details on how you can achieve this look. There are some products that are absolutely necessary for you to achieve this look. Now, if you use incorrect products, you can either have too much glow, which turns out to be greasy and makes your pores look large, and then if you aren't using the proper products, you can actually have your makeup not blend well, so it's going to roll. If you've ever had your foundation just kind of roll off of your skin when you're trying to create a beautiful dewy look, then this video is going to solve that for you, and I'm excited to show you how I created this look. Without further ado, let's get started. So for today's look to achieve that beautiful dewy glow, I'm going to show you the products that are going to help you accomplish that look because we're talking about two different things when we're talking about oily skin or that nice dewy youthful glow. Really what that comes down to is using the appropriate skincare products before you put on your makeup to make sure that your skin isn't overproducing oil by mid to late afternoon. And that's where possibly if you are experiencing oily skin by the end of the day, it's because you're not using the Right products to balance out the oil production in your skin. So even if you have oily skin and that's your skin type, you can find the appropriate moisturizer, cleanser, toner, different skincare products that can help balance your skin so that you don't end up looking too dewy and too oily by the end of the day. To start this look, I'm going to tone my face with the Glow Toner, which is so appropriately named for this look. But this is going to include aloe vera and rose water, so it's perfect to hydrate my skin and balance the pH in my skin to make sure that I have a well hydrated and moisturized face. Using a toner is very important because it also helps to set that perfect canvas by removing any residual makeup or cleanser that may be left on your skin. Of course, I'm reaching in for my collagen serum, which is what I depend on for that dewy glow, that plump. And I just use a pea sized amount of this serum. And this goes on directly after I've toned my skin. It's even gentle enough that I can go right up near my eyes without any irritation throughout the day. My moisturizer of choice is the Vitamin Rich Daily Moisturizer. This moisturizer has jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, aloe vera, avocado, so many wonderful ingredients to just really help balance my skin and my oil production. So personally, I have a combination skin, so I get really oily in my T-zone, but I get really dry on other areas of my skin. So this moisturizer really helps to balance that out so that I don't have areas throughout the day that are too oily or too dry. Okay, so for this look, this is the little trick. So you know that I always use a foundation primer and sometimes when I want that nice dewy glow or I'm using a foundation that just needs a little bit of a liquid movability, I add in the rose hip oil. So I'm gonna show you that if I want to create a dewy look, then I'm actually going to apply my primer first and then I'm going to apply the rose hip afterwards. And the reason why is because I want to prime my skin and fill in any of my fine wrinkles or large pores with a primer. But then I also want to keep that dewy, beautiful glow. So I'm not going for a matte look today. So I want this to be on top of my primer to really mix in with my foundation. So I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like and what that's gonna create. So I'm starting with the Smashbox Photo Finish Original Primer. I'm just gonna use a pea size amount of this. And this, using a primer is really important because what it's going to do is fill in all of your fine lines, your large pores, your wrinkles as I mentioned, but it's also going to make sure that your foundation stays in place. So even though we're creating a nice, dewy, beautiful glow look, you wanna make sure that you are keeping those trouble areas hidden. That's really what a foundation primer is going to do. Also notice how I'm not really rubbing these products onto my face. I'm lightly and gently patting them on. And this is really going to keep them exactly where I want them without removing the layers that I've already put on my face. Okay, so now that my primer is on, now I'm going to take just a couple drops of the rose hip oil 
and I'm just going to press this on top of the primer and that's really going to give me a nice beautiful glow all day long rosehip oil is nature's natural retin-a so it's actually going to heal my skin while I'm wearing it it's going to repair any redness help with cell turnover help to rebuild and regenerate skin cells now for today's look for foundation I have decided to go with the Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation and the reason why I wanted to do a hydrating foundation obviously is because I want a very hydrated beautiful glow so I don't want to use a matte foundation it's really important that you pay attention to what type of foundation you're applying if you're trying to achieve this dewy beautiful glow look with your foundation I'm going to take this foundation and apply it to my mint pear flat top kabuki brush And I really want to blend this in with the products that I've put on my face before. So as you can tell, I'm not dragging or pulling down on this brush. I'm just gently patting and pressing in the foundation. So I'm really blending the rosehip oil and this foundation together with this brush on my face. So for this look, I specifically chose this foundation because I didn't want something too heavy. I wanted a nice, beautiful glow, just enough coverage that my skin looks flawless and glowing and healthy. So that's why I really love the Smashbox foundation because I feel like you can easily accomplish that. My concealer today is by IT Cosmetics. I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination in Medium. You only need a tiny little amount of this product, so I'm just going to show you. It is very effective. You just need a tiny little amount. And I really like to apply this product with my finger just to warm up this product. Some concealers work fine with using a brush or a sponge. I have found that this concealer works best if you are warming this up with your finger. I'm just gently pressing this under my eye very lightly and I'm going to take this back above my cheekbone now to get that inner corner since my nails are so long I'm just going to use the angled flat precision and I'm just going to blend this into the corner of my eye and over my lid just like that and already you can see the difference between the two eyes so this is a beautiful glowing concealer it's really going to attract the light and give you that beautiful youthful glow right underneath the eye so I'm going to take that same tiny little amount like barely any this is gonna last me a lifetime you're gonna be like seeing me use this when I'm 90 years old this one too because I really don't use that much really the secret to having beautiful under eye coverage without creasing or caking is to scale back on the amount of concealer that you're putting under your eye I know we think you know the more coverage the better just hide those under eyes but really what you're doing is you're just you're bringing more attention to that area especially if it's creasing throughout the day so that's never a good look less is always more when it comes to concealer under the eye area so next step is also something completely different than what I normally do with my normal routines because I want to keep that beautiful glow. So I don't necessarily want to set my foundation and my concealer with a translucent setting powder because what that will do is it's going to hide this beautiful glow that we're creating. So I'm going to reach for something completely different today which is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. And I'm just going to set my foundation and my concealer with this yummy cucumber spray. 
and while I wait for that to set in place I'm just going to style my brows. Now for this look because I do want this to be a beautiful youthful look I'm not going to overfill my brows. I'm just going to fill in the middle I'm gonna set everything in place with the Gimme Brow. Brow gel by Benefit. And I really wanna just brush these up in the center and over and down. So now that I have this nice beautiful glow and it's set in place, I don't necessarily want to go to a powder blush or a powder bronzer. So I'm going to reach into the Diamond and Blush palette by Natasha Denona. And the reason why is because we have some beautiful liquid highlighters and blushes in this set. So I can keep that beautiful glow. This is the Daria palette. I'm just going to reach in to the cream blush right here. And as you can see, just this beautiful pink cream blush. And I just want to put this right on the apples of my cheek and back up towards my ear. And I'm just going to blend this in with my finger. Super simple. And I'm not going to go too far forward. So I'm not going past that middle center of my eyes. You can see I'm just keeping it on this outer portion of my cheekbone. And also I'm not going below where my cheekbone goes in. I just really want to blend this in nicely so it doesn't have any harsh lines. I'm just going to go right all the way back. Oh, it's so beautiful. If you have had a chance to give this palette a try, I love this palette so much. Look at the beauty of this. Like there's just oh, so many opportunities for this palette. I love it so much. So here we go on this side again. What's nice about using a cream blush is that if you apply too much, you can just keep blending it out. Just keep working it with your finger and warming it between your skin and your finger and it will just blend so nicely. It's more movable than a powder blush, obviously because it's a cream and you can keep blending it. And it sits very well on top of the rosehip oil which just allows you to blend things together so well. It looks so fresh and natural. Isn't that just so beautiful? So adorable. I love this blush. Ooh. So also in the Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to use this Glow Cream Base right here. And I'm just going to take this as my highlighter and I'm just going to Pat this right where I would put my normal highlighter, just right above my blush, but right below those crow's feet. And I'm going to take that all the way back. I'm also going to take that cream base and just go right over my cupid's bow. Blend that in a little bit. And I want to go right down my nose as well. Now I do not have a cream bronzer, but I am going to reach into my Lancome little bronzer kit that has the highlighter and the blush. And I'm just going to take this beautiful bronzer right here. It does have some sparkles in it so it's not a matte bronzer which I do like for this look and I'm just gonna take this just to warm up right underneath my cheekbone I'm gonna take this up onto my forehead as well
Now for eyes, I also want to keep this a very beautiful shimmery look. I don't want to have any matte eyeshadows. I'm going to be reaching into the Lancome little set that I got out of their holiday box because look at these colors. They are so perfect for a nice beautiful glowy look. You can see there are a lot of champagne, rose gold, beautiful looks going on here. So firstly, I'm going to take this lightest shade and I'm going to take this right under my brow bone. Now for primer, as you saw, I did already go over my eye with the concealer, which does work as a primer as long as you blend it out well enough. And into that inner corner, just for a light. I'm gonna come back to that palette, but I want to reach in with the the Laura Mercier Vanilla Kiss. This is a caviar stick eye color. So it's like a creamy eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna go in right around the inner corner of my eye and take this right over everything. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same brush I was using to apply the lightest color. Now once that is blended out, I'm going to take this beautiful champagne rose gold with a different stiff shader and I'm just going to pack this over my eyelid right here all the way up into the crease. I'm then going to take a crease blend and blend out that beautiful color. I'm reaching into the Lancome Ombre Hypnose Stilo, which is a beautiful, this is a number two, 27 bronze. Look how beautiful that is. So beautiful. And I'm gonna run this just along my lash line. And this is going to work as a brown eyeshadow liner slash smudge stick. But it has a nice shimmer to it, so it keeps that liquid theme, that glowing, beautiful theme we have going on. And I'm also going to take this underneath on the bottom lash line as well, just right outside of my lashes. So then what I want to do is I want to take the Soften and Smudge and just blend out this beautiful smudge stick. Now to continue this look and keeping it beautiful and glowing, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and this is in Sunset and I'm going to put this on my inner waterline. I don't want to do anything too dark or matte, black, anything like this because I want to keep that beautiful shimmery look theme happening for my entire eye. And just for a little bit of fun, I'm going to take this nice, beautiful gold, yellow gold that we have right here, and just take a little bit here on the brush. And I'm just gonna put this right here in the center of my eye, just so it's a nice, beautiful reflection on that inner corner. Time for lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm priming with the Lancome Seal Booster Primer. And today's mascara is going to be the Lancome Defenestil. 
Now for lips, I want to keep it a nice beautiful corally pink glowy look. So I'm going to line with Nude Whisper by Maybelline, which is 105. And I'm going to follow that up with the Revlon Color Stay in one of my favorite shades, which I literally, if I find this, I will buy the store out. I'll buy like three because that's usually all that's left. But this is It Girl by Revlon. I love this color so much. And instead of wiping this on, I just pat this on because you don't want it to be too thick. Now this is just for color and I'm going to go back over that with one of my newly found favorite lip glosses and this is Tiki Bar by Tarte. To complete this look, I just threw on some Ardell Wispy Lashes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating this look beautiful dewy glowy look that's perfect for springtime and summertime it really draws all of those yummy dewy creamy products that you have together and I was excited to create this so thank you so much Joey for this request please hit the thumbs up if you did like this video and you picked up a thing or two and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified when new videos hit my channel thank you so much for your support and have a beautiful day